Now this, CNN commentator Margaret Hoover is accusing President Trump of going after MS-13 in order to appeal to white nationalists. Joining us now is Sheriff Vincent DeMarco, Suffolk County, New York, who is leading the, basically you're leading the attack on MS-13, aren't you? Yes. Do you, what do you make of this? Uh, this is uh, Margaret Hoover. She's the granddaughter of a president. She's a Republican. And she says that Mr. Trump is doing this because to satisfy white nationalists. It's absolutely outrageous, and she doesn't know what she's talking about. MS-13 is preying upon immigrant communities. They are brutally murdering immigrants uh, from Central America, Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala, with the exception of two African-American girls that they murdered in Suffolk County. They are extorting money from immigrant business owners. They, this is, she does not know what she's talking about here. Suffolk County, you're the sheriff there, of. Yes. Um, and MS-13 is not based there, but is very, very active in your county, is that accurate? Very, very active, as well as right outside of D.C. in Virginia and Maryland. How it? many of you are arrested, do you know? I mean, you have um, a, a, a count? Yep, 17 have been federally indicted for the murders of uh, MS-13 members, or conspiring to murder of, uh, of other members of MS-13 and also innocent immigrant children. Uh, I understand you're now raiding bars where they may, might hang out. Yes, last week, um, it was Friday night, uh, led by Homeland Security Investigations, raided three bars in the Huntington Station area in Suffolk County. Um, that came from tips from the community about MS-13 members, that this is uh, some of their clubhouses and where they've been hanging out. So what do you do? You surround the place, go inside? Who, who are you? Uh, basically, we know who the MS-13 members are in you Suffolk do. County. And um, you also... You know, some of them are underage, and some of the business owners there are serving them alcohol, and you also find weapons and drugs and other well, things. You on know the who members. the gang members are. You know their names. You know their faces. You got them. So if you catch them, what do you do? Well, when we catch them, if you charge them with a crime, well, uh, or, and if we go in with Homeland Security, Homeland Security can take them into custody if they're here illegally. If they're here illegally, but you can't arrest them just because you think they are members of a gang. No, being a member of a gang is not a crime. That's not a crime. So you've got to find they've done something wrong. Right. Okay. Now, General Kelly used to run Homeland Security. He's now a chief of staff to the White House. Uh, do you think he's got your back? 100%. Uh, General Kelly is a, a man of structure and discipline, and he uh, ran the Southern Command for the Marines. Um, he um, understands what is going on with MS-13. He understands what is going on with the heroin trade and human trafficking and smuggling because he worked closely with those countries along the southern border. And I, I had the opportunity to meet him and have conversations with him two times, and his knowledge on this and his love for law enforcement. He comes from a law enforcement family up in Boston. Any pushback from other people in Suffolk County? No. They like what you're doing? They do. Is your office an elected office? It is. <laughs> you're running for re-election? I, I am not running for re-election this year, though. You're not? No, I'm not going to run. You're running for Congress? No. Okay. I won't probe any further. <laughs> Sheriff, thanks for joining us, sir. We My appreciate pleasure, it. Stuart. Good luck, sir. Okay.